Today is Sunday, March 22, 2020, the fourth Sunday in Lent. We're listening to Bob Marley singing Redemption Song. All pirates, yes, they rabbi, sold I to the merchant ships. Minutes after they took I from the bottomless pit. But my hand was made strong By the hand of the Almighty We forward in this generation Triumphantly Won't you help to sing These songs of freedom Cause all I ever have Redemption songs Redemption songs Emancipate yourselves from mental slavery None but ourselves can free our minds Have no fear for atomic energy Cause none of them can stop the time How long shall they kill our prophets? While we stand aside and look Some say it's just a part of it We've got to fulfill the book Won't you help to sing These songs of freedom Is all I ever had Redemption songs Redemption songs Redemption songs Redemption songs We're at the beginning of a pandemic We have no idea where it will lead us We don't know who will be infected and who will be spared we're told that some will die, but that many, many more will live. And our economy is being shredded with no end or solution in sight. And our hearts, our hearts are filling with fear. It's at moments like this that we need our redemption songs. We need now to hear again our songs of freedom so that we may forward triumphantly by the hand of the Almighty. We forward in this generation triumphantly. Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. The Lord makes me lie down in green pastures and leads me beside still waters. The Lord restores my soul and leads me in paths of righteousness for God's name's sake. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord my whole life long. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. There's another reason to fight these parables. It has a lid. And sometimes parables seem to have a lid on them. But when you lift the lid of a parable, there's something very precious inside. 
Water? It could be a piece of the sky. Hmm. These are very dark. There is almost no light in them at all. I wonder what this is. If I put it this way, it looks And this beginning, or this could be the beginning, and this beginning. If I put this one this way, the road could be in between. This could be the beginning, and this the end, or this could be the beginning. Make it very strong. It's getting stronger. a log cabin. It might be a corral. There's an inside and an outside. I think there needs to be a way to go out and to come in. I wonder what lives here. Hmm. Oh, here are sheep. If sheep live here, then this is a sheepfold. It's called a sheepfold because the sheeps are folded safely inside. Once there was someone who said such amazing things and did such wonderful things that people began to follow him. But they didn't know who he was. So one day they simply had to ask him, and he said, I am the Good Shepherd. I know each one of my sheep by name, and they know the sound of my voice. So when I call my sheep from the sheepfold, they follow me. Show them the way to the good green grass. I show them the way to the cool, clear, still water. There are places of danger. I show them the way to pass safely through. So that they can come safely home to the sheep.
wonder if these sheep have names. I wonder if you have ever been in places of danger. I wonder where this might really be. I wonder where this whole place might be. Psalm 23 is one of our songs of freedom, just as it was for Jesus. Jesus and all the Jewish people were taught to pray that the Lord is their shepherd, even as Caesar tried to convince them that Caesar was their God. Jesus learned in the middle of occupation that his life, that his death, Indeed, that all of the lives and deaths of his fellow Jews were surrounded by the presence of the Lord. They were never abandoned, never forgotten, never discarded, never left to their own devices. So they prayed, you, Lord, you prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil, and my cup overflows. Surely, surely, goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life, no matter what Caesar says. During our time, we too read Psalm 23 during times of trouble. It's commonly read at funerals because it's familiar to most people and it offers comfort to some. And still today, Psalm 23 express, expresses our dependence upon God to keep us close to God's self. It's that way, in that way it reminds me of the first answer of the Heidelberg Catechism. My only comfort in life and in death is that I am not my own, but belong body and soul in life and in death to my faithful Savior, Jesus. We belong. We belong to Jesus, who walks with us during times of trouble. That's a comfort during days of trouble. It's so easy to allow our minds to spin into frightening thoughts that blanket our hearts with despair. It's so easy to see all of the potential disasters and throw our hands into the air and cry to the heavens, woe is me, for I am a forgotten person. But our song of freedom, Psalm 23, quietly draws us back into reality. We are not alone. We never make our way alone through this world. Not even through the valley of the shadow of death. Our Lord, our Savior, walks with us, and I will fear no evil. Because your rod and your staff, they comfort me. We have no idea where, will we, where we will be when this emergency ends. Every day, the news becomes more dire. Every day, there are more cases, more restrictions, 
more quarantines, more deaths, more jobs lost. Every day. It feels as if everything will be different when we crawl out of the rubble. But we do know that through all of this, the Lord will remain with us and that the Lord will crawl out of the rubble with us. That's our faith. So I ask, where does your greatest fear reside? What darkness is chasing you towards panic? Have you given this fear to the Lord? Have you prayed that God will give you strength and that God will surround you with songs of freedom? Have you prayed for the hand of the Almighty to lead you forward triumphantly? Turn to the songs during these weeks. Sing the songs of freedom because they express These our faith of freedom, during times of trouble. In the name of God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Songs. Amen. Please pray with me. We thank you, God, that you are the one true God of the universe. We thank you that you have created everything and everyone in love. We thank you that each moment you are creating everything and everyone in love. Thank you that you love your creation and your creatures and you love us. We thank you for our church community and we pray, pray for our church in Jesus' name. We pray for Sally Amadio, John and Janet Amadio, Ruth and Rachel Amadio, for Claudia Amrine and Jack Amrine, for Katie Arbogast. Dear God, we are uneasy and may be afraid in the face of the coronavirus. We are out of sorts with the changes to our lives and with being shut in. We pray for our families and for our communities, for our country and for the world. Please enable us to feel your presence with us and your love for us. Please bring comfort and healing Please enable us to respond to others with love and wisdom. Please join with me, our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be your name. name. Your, your kingdom, kingdom come, come your will be done on earth, earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us today this day our daily bread, and, and forgive us our trespasses, as, as we forgive our debtors, who trespass against us. and lead and us not, not into temptation, but deliver, deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Remember, remember, Jesus loves you. He's always loved you, and he always will love you, no matter what. May God now bless you and keep you close to God's self. May God's face be turned towards you and shine upon you in wonderful and new and odd ways. May God give you peace in the middle of your fear. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.
Thank you.